Hi guys, PJ here. Today working on a Kia Sorento. This is actually a 2013 model. And we're gonna be removing the factory fitted radio. Nice short guide, very simple to do. Most important tool for this job is a plastic leverage tool. Don't use a screwdriver or similar metal object because you will definitely put little dints in the trim and make a right mess of things. You can get these off eBay, Amazon, normally sort of one to two pounds, they're not dear. Very worthwhile getting. And the first thing we're going to do is lever this piece of trim off. Okay, now it's on plastic clips all the way around. You've got to be very careful with it. It's quite fragile. And to do that, I'm just getting some light here so you guys can see. If we go underneath the plastic trim, you'll see some tabs. So I'm just going to show you here. I've got a screwdriver. I'm not going to be using that to lever it. Just here, look. There's some little indents. So basically, you pop your tool in pop those down, revealing the screw behind. Same for the one on this side, near the steering wheel on this car, because it's right-hand drive. Once you pop those down, you can get your crosshead screwdriver, remove the screws, one here, one there, look. Take those out completely, so we've drawn those fully. So next up, we're going to work our way around the plastic trim, the torch down there, levering it all the way around the edge, nice and carefully with your plastic leverage tool until the whole lot, all this assembly here that goes all the way around, pops off. So you need to go to the side of the steering wheel and do the same on the other side and pop the whole assembly off and then move across to this side, starting in the corners here, pop and work it all the way around nice and gently. Skipping forward. There's the uh, driver's side on this particular car I've popped out. They're on little pegs. And then when you work your way around the edge, I mean, if it's really, really tight, because, I mean, this one had never been in pieces, so it's very tight. I normally start here on this corner. It seems to pop easier. So you can just sort of completely, there you go, remove the trim like so, which reveals Phillips screws, crosshead screws. We're going to pop that one out. And also the other one on the other side, I don't know if you can see it, Phillips screw just there. Take both of those out, keep them safe. We've both removed, one here, one here. We can now get the leverage tool, pop it behind the corner and start pulling the front trim. As you can see, it's on clips up here, so we need to pull it evenly. And basically you pop off the entire surrounding trim. Now would be a good time to press eject, by the way, if you've still got a CD stuck in there, because a lot of people do that and then uh, find they can't get the CD out. So yeah, pop the front trim off, work your way around it with a plastic leverage tool after these two screws have gone. When we've pulled this trim off, we're then gonna remove these two screws. There's one of these each side as well. And that's obviously for the main stereo. Once you get this far, you've got a plastic plug on the back here for your display. You're gonna push the button down on the top and pull the plug outwards to pop it. And there's also another one for your hazard switch just here. The hazard switch is a similar principle, just basically squeeze and pull it out straight line. At this stage, you should be looking like this. And now do not switch your ignition system on because with the top connector unplugged, your car will fall through a airbag warning light that you will have to get reset to garage. So don't put your ignition on guys while you're doing this bit. Undo one, two, three, and of course one on the other side, just there, look, four screws, and that will release the bulk of the radio. You've got all your screws out, ease your stereo forwards. It's on little mounting lugs. It's quite a weighty uh, bit of kit this is, and obviously the back of it's steel. So you might want to cover all this area up with cardboard or with a, you know, a couple of rags or something, just to stop it from getting scratched, because it is a very heavy radio. So if we pull it forwards, there's your connectors on the back. They're on squeezy tabs, so you squeeze the center pin down and pull and the aerial there is just a straight bayonet fit, pull that out. And that, guys, is how you remove the radio from a Kia Sorento. Thanks a lot for watching, and goodbye for now.